Hello, my name is Freddy Korpshoek and in this tutorial I will show you the basics of HDRI imaging in Cinema 4D. We're going to create a little scene. I will use this cube and change the size to 100 by 100 and by 100. Choose fillet, make it 10 and subdivisions also 10, so get a smooth edge. Put it up a little bit, 50. I can drag it around over here. Next thing, let's create a sphere. Make the object 50 and put it up 50 and drag it next to the cube. Okay, this is a scene. Next thing, let's create a floor. I use the textures of Grayscale Gorilla. If you don't have the textures, uh, you can choose something by yourself. I'll use this one. Okay, if we render Command R, it will look like this. Okay, let's bring some changes. Create a new material, call it white without capitals. Add reflection and choose a texture for now and drag it to all the objects like this. You see there's a little bit of reflection already, which is good, that's what we want. Now go to your render settings and add a global illumination. Make the diffuse depth too. You can play around with these settings. You can change this to 0.8. And if we render right now, you will see exactly nothing. In my next tutorial, I will explain what HDRI is and how it works. For now, I'll just show you how to apply it in Cinema 4D. So we have to create some light. Make a new material called HDRI. Go remove the specular, go to color. And now we are going to add an HDRI image. It can be something like this or something like this. I'll use this one for now. No, I don't want to copy it. Next thing, create a sky and drag the HDRI material to the sky. Now render, and this is what we will get. Looks quite nice. As you see, there are some rough edges, so go to the render settings, go to anti-aliasing and say, best. The higher the quality, the longer it will take to render and the better the image will look. And as you see, the edges are perfectly clean. But the funny thing is with HDRI, you can totally change the look and feel of the scene. So let's use another HDRI image. I'll take this one. Open it. No, look like this. If I now render it, I will see that is far too bright. So I'll go here, change the brightness to zero and the mix strength to 10%. So as you see with AGR imaging, you can totally change the look and feel of your scene. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how you can create your own HDRI images. I hope you learned something and I will see you next time. Adiós.